I'm right here, baby. I'm right here. I'm right here. You see, I see what I did there. I saw, so, oh, oh no. <laughs> I'm right here. Let's get into it. We sick. You like my mustache? You see what I did? See what I did there? You like it? I look like that. Uh. Oh, we should have to do it. We should have to do it before we get into it. Nah, I don't like it. I don't like it. Oh, you saw what I have to do now. I have to, yeah. Let me get this off my lips. You know what I'm saying? Like, oh, God, I dropped my information. You know what I'm saying? Let's get right into it, baby. I'm going to make it short and sweet with a little pizzazz, with a little me, with a little my big energy. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> We're talking about. That week six and a foul. Week six had a two. Week six out of two. And we put it down on you. Alright, so we're gonna hit it. Put it. Not like that. Not like that. Week six ads. You know what I'm saying? You see the you see when you see this out, you know we about to have a good time. You know what I'm saying? When you see this is out, let's get right to it. Right now, game probably just started. We have the Bucks versus the Eagles. No brainer who's gonna win that game. The Buccaneers. You know what I'm saying? Why? Tom Brady. Nobody stopping Tom Brady. You know what I'm saying? Buccaneers defense. Pretty okay. Eagles, questionable. The, the, the worst thing about the Eagles right now, inconsistent. You see? Inconsistency. You see? Jalen Hurts, very inconsistent. You see? Some days, some plays he has, he's good. Some plays, some drives are like, the fuck is this? So I'm going to hit you with the Bucks. I got Bucks playing Thursday night football. I'm saying get the Bucks with a W. We're talking about Sunday night games, Sunday morning games. I'm thinking this is not London. This is a regular game at 1 o'clock. Dolphins versus Jaguars. I see Jaguars winning the game, their first W, right, against the Dolphins. Dolphins, no problem. Let me say, at least the Dolphins come and play and stop. Mosquito flew in my hand like you about to suck some blood. Let me say, the only thing I see Dolphins winning this game is the Dolphins defense comes out and plays football. Let me say. If they lag gagging, all right, Jack was going to take that W, I'm telling you. They're a team that's young, hungry. Yeah, you know they're in the build and stage now, but they are playing football every week, which is I respect for that. You know what I'm saying? So I'm choosing the Dolphins. I'm choosing the, no, I'm choosing the Jaguars to take a W to get their first win. Vikings versus Panthers. Darno, Sam Darno, you inconsistent bastard. There you go. That's why I knew you from. He was laid down on the Jets. And I'm taking the goddamn Vikings because you, you are what we thought you are. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. You know what I'm saying? Everybody else on the fucking Panthers, pretty, pretty solid games. You know what I'm saying? But that man, Sam Darnold, you made me remember you question myself about the Jets. I ain't like that. So you will take this W. You won't take this L on me. You know what I'm saying? Vikings with the W. You know what I'm saying? Next game, Chargers versus Ravens. Ooh, wee. That's a game right there. That's a game right there. Trust me. That's the game right there. But here's the problem. If Chargers defense don't show up, Lamar Jackson is going to be throwing the ball and rushing on the asses. You know what I'm saying? Because that game they played against the Browns last week, they can't do that against the Ravens. And Ravens and, and Lamar, you need to protect the ball more. You know what I'm saying? You played a great game with a comeback win, but you need to start early. You know what I'm saying? Need to start early. You know what I'm saying? Boom. You there you go. Choosing the Ravens. Uh, so might be candidate of MVP. You know what I'm saying? I got Rams. Next game. Rams versus Giants. Rams. I'm not going to talk about it. Giants are the trash. Absolutely do the ass. You know what I'm saying? I think y'all are on the bottom of your list. Other than you're probably battling between y'all and Washington. I'm thinking. You know what I'm saying? Um, Texans versus Colts. Next game. Mm. This is a tough one here. It's a tough one. It's a tough one. It's a 
choosing the Colts. I'm choosing the Colts. This is the way they performed last week. Even though Texas performed well last week, I'm going with the Colts. I think Colts defense plays more with more intensity, in, with more intensity, intensity than the Colts. You know what I'm saying? I'm just going with. I'm just going with them. Focus, focus. There it is. Oh. Weird motherfuckers in the New York, I swear to God. <laughs> it's just a bunch of weird motherfuckers. It's sickening, bro. Fucking weirdos. No, I'm sorry. I'm just off track. It's just it's weird. We have Chiefs versus Washington. Now, I'm choosing the Chiefs just because of how power offense. Their defense has not been showing. I don't know what the fuck is wrong with the damn Chiefs defense. I don't. I really don't know. But here's a wise word to the Chiefs: If any players come across this, I don't know how. But if you ever come across this, don't sleep on Washington because of their record. They've been balling. You know what I'm saying? This is a sleeping team that can beat y'all. That's this. Let's be realistic. You know what I'm saying? This is a sleeping team that can really beat y'all. You know what I'm saying? Uh, so don't sleep on them. Don't sleep on a fucking defensive uh, line. I, um, hen. Defensive line. Don't sleep on them, bro. I'm just saying. You better come in there and you better play football. Let me say Patrick Mahomes. I know you've been playing. You play, you're playing good. People say you're not playing good. You're playing, playing good. Your wide receivers need to catch the ball. And it's coming off your hands and then you're getting picks and drops. I've been seeing last week game. You know what I'm saying? Fuck that. You know what I'm saying? I'm choosing cheese, but don't sleep on Washington. Because if you do, Washington will sneak and sleep on your ass the way home. You know what I'm saying? With that W. You know what I'm saying? Packers versus Bears. I'm choosing the Packers. I'm choosing the Packers. I'm choosing the Packers. You know what I'm saying? Now, even though that game could have been last week against the Packers versus, uh, damn, who did the Packers beat last night with that bullshit? Was it the Vikings? With that stupid ass field goals? You know what I'm saying? Or was it the Bengals? Mason Scobby's missing like three field goals that could have just clutched the game, get, get, end the game in the fourth quarter, but he sent it to overtime. I don't think that's going to happen this the game. Packers is going to, like I said, the Bears, like just like Ravens, it's just the Bears' defense, you know what I'm saying? The Bears' defense. And Packers have a, slightly had a hard time with the Packers' de Bears' defense, you know what I'm saying? So I'm choosing Packers, though, and Rodgers. I'm just saying, he's that man. Devontae Adams. Anybody have stopped him yet? Nope. You know what I'm saying? And don't watch the slot receiver, Randall Cobb. You know what I'm saying? Try, I'm keep, you're sleeping on that man. I'm just letting you know. Even though his age is, is he's still Aaron Rodgers' safety blanket. Now, there's a difference between safety blanket and the go man. The go to man is Devontae Adams. Safety blanket, Randall Cobb. I promise you that. I'm, if you, I'm just saying. Cardinals versus Browns. The only undefeated team in the league is Cardinals. DeAndre Hopkins. You know what I'm saying? Ball. You know what I'm saying? Another wide receiver. Anybody stopped him yet? No. You know what I'm saying? It's the Browns. Running attack. You can't say Ole Belkin is making more if he's not. He had last, last week he had two catches for 20 yards. He's not making noise this year. I'm sorry. Just from the injury, just just like, no, people just have him on lock. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So um, they take him out of the game. And you, you're, you're, you're pretty much, I think, your best quarter wide receiver is Andrew Javar's, um, Javar's, damn, what's his name? Odell Beckham, best friend. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm going with the Cardinals. Now, Kyle Murray... Been getting bailed out by his wide receivers. I'm just letting you know right now. I've seen it. He just doing prayers. And then getting bailed out by his wide receivers. You know what I'm saying? 
But keep if you contain if you can contain card uh Kyle Murray, which is a hard job job to do in the pocket, and let him throw the ball. Maybe he's like another Baker Mayfield. Shrug shoulders. I don't know. Mm -hmm. Now we got Cowboys versus Patriots. Oh, I chose the Cardinals. Cowboys versus Patriots. Cowboys. 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 They're just playing. Them. Even though they, the cowgirls, cow boots, um, do do. You know what I'm saying? They're just playing a. Just great football. I'm just saying. They're just playing great fucking football. I mean, Dak Prescott came out from his injury, throwing the ball efficiently. You know what I'm saying? Uh, what's his name? Amana Cooper. You know what I'm saying? Playing lights out. The, the offense is playing lights out. Ezekiel Elliott got his win back and stopped running the ball like he used to. It, it just is very really hard to stop. Uh, Raiders versus Broncos. I'm choosing Broncos because of the distraction of what happened to Brunin. The head coach who resigned. Um, there's a lot of distractions right there now, and I'm thinking when a new head coach coming in, yeah, they're gonna uh, they, they're focusing out there. So I'm going with the Broncos just because of the distraction, and because Teddy Bridgewater is that nigga, and uh, I feel like I bounce my wings will come back and get them all started. Seahawks versus Steelers. I left it blank. That ass. You see it? Look. Oh. I'm not gonna even show you my hand right now. Let me, let me, let me not. Seahawks for the Steelers. I left it blank. I'm going to come back to that. That's your Sunday night football. After this game, I'm going to talk about it. Monday night football game is your Bills versus Titans. And I'm choosing the Bills because they're just a hot team. You see what they did to the Chiefs last week on Monday night. Now, the Bills defense, outstanding. <laughs> outstanding. They're outstanding. Both, they are a very balanced team. Offensive and defensive wise. Uh, stop Derrick Henry. I, I don't I don't see them stopping him, but holding him down to a certain amount of yards, not letting him bounce outside of pot outside to and then you know you're gonna stack him. Yeah, I, I don't know if AJ Brown and Julio Jones are still injured or not, but uh, if they are starting, I think the tight the Bills got their way uh, defensive. Strategy to, to to take out one or the other. You know what I'm saying? The whole one for less than 100 yards, and you know you can't stop both of them to have 100 yards. This is physically impossible. But I just see Bills knowing to do with the Titans. They're gonna mainly focus on the run game, and they're gonna say, "Hey, you have to pass on us." You know what I'm saying? And then when the Titans focus on the pass, they will adjust. You know what I'm saying? That's that's just me with the Bills. So I'm choosing the Bills for that. For now, now while I'm talking to you, I was thinking about it. Seahawks versus Steelers. My mind wants to tell me it's Seahawks. Here's the problem, though. Russell Wilson's out. The offensive line for Geno Smith, the offensive line has been uh, trash this year for the Seahawks. Um, their best, Metcalf, still there. Best wide receiver to me on that team right now is Lockett. Um, I'm going with the Steelers. Just because of that bounce back win they had, Kudos for them. Um, they look like the old Steelers, but uh, apparently Juju Smithster is out for the season from a soldier injury, apparently. So, but they still got Poole, Washington, and um, number 18. I forgot his name. <coughs> so, one thing about the Steelers, they do have a draft and great wide receiver core, even though their hands are are really not that certified, you know what I'm saying? But they know how to get open. That's the problem, you know what I'm saying? <coughs> so, so, yeah, I'm choosing the Steelers for that win. For your Sunday night football. So let's go down the list again. Thursday night football that was going on right now. Bucks versus Eagles, I'm choosing the Bucks. Dolphins versus Jaguars, I'm choosing the Jaguars. Getting it first. W what's on football. Vikings versus Panthers. Vikings. Chargers versus Ravens. Ravens. Rams versus Giants. Rams. Texans versus Colts. Colts. Chiefs versus Washington. Chiefs. 
Chiefs, oh, I'm sorry, Packers versus Bears, Packers, Bengals versus Lions, Bengals, Cardinals versus Browns, Cardinals, Cowboys versus Patriots, Cowboys, Raiders versus Broncos, Broncos, Seahawks versus Steelers, Steelers and Bills versus Titans, I got the Bills, okay. That is your My Week Prediction and Analyst for Week 6. Hope you enjoyed. Stay beautiful, stay blessed. I love y'all. Hope you take care of yourselves. And I hope people, you have people surrounding you just hugging you, loving you, you know what I'm saying? Making you happy. You know what I'm saying? <coughs> you know? You know what? And if you're not, know that I love you. Know that I want to hug you and get over here. We hope you're making you happy. You know what I'm saying? Stay beautiful, stay blessed as always. Your boy signing out. It's your boy. And he's so random. And his predictions. Can it be accurate this week? Well, it's right now. After week six is over. Week six. And predictions. I love ya. Speed ya. I want ya. I need ya. I love ya. Remember that song? It's an oldie. Somebody probably told me, shut the fuck up. Get off the phone. <laughs> Okay. You hurt my feelings. No. <laughs> I'm fucking with y'all. I love y'all.